Welcome back, welcome back, and you know all, glad you all come to hear the word, okay? What I basically have this morning is just the Lord's, I was speaking with the Lord, and there's something that he basically wants me to verify in that it's a correction, actually, because the Lord says, freely you receive, freely you give. Well, what he mean, what he is saying is that a lot of people have turned that into meaning money. Yeah, you can give freely, but when he's saying that, basically, freely you receive, freely you give, it's of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's giving you gifts. He's giving you the gospel, and you ought to preach the gospel. You ought to teach the gospel. You ought to use your gifts to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, right? So that people all over the world will hear the gospel so that they can learn to heed to the gospel and learn to also preach the gospel. We all hear on purpose. It's not an accident that we're here and we're here to serve the Most High. We were paid for with a, a heavenly price. We were paid for with a righteous price, with innocent blood, right? And sinless blood. Josiah laid down his life for us. And we should have life. Not only have it, have it more abundantly, but people have taken it as this to mean it's all about money, and it's not. When you're out and about, you should be trying to preach the gospel. In other words, talk about the goodness of Jesus Christ to others. For in as young as your children, as uh, soon as they begin to walk or talk, you can teach them to pray. You can teach them about the fear of the Lord. That's what we should be doing. Spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. When I say preaching, I don't necessarily mean we all preach. You know what I'm saying? That you teaching or you speaking about the goodness. Telling everybody the good news of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ. The goodness of the Lord and that he's coming and who he is to you. And what he's done for you. And we ought to always commemorate what he's done for us. And remember what he's done for us. And have communion with him, right? Mm -hmm. People have taken everything to be about money. It's not about money. Because... When it comes down to money, Father God loves a cheerful giver. So you will give cheerfully, not under duress, not under stress, not as being put in bondage by anyone, okay? And learn to be content with what you have. God has blessed you with so much whether you understand it or not. First of all, you're truly blessed because he woke you up this morning. He didn't have to. Right? I knew the gospel is being preached freely. The gospel is being given daily. There's no excuses for people to not, by now, have given their life to Christ and know how to walk in Him, in the power thereof. Right? He's given us all power and authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, but people don't do that. They honor him with their mouth, but the, the heart is far away. Many hearts are grown cold, the Lord said in the last days. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But if you love the Lord, you're going to speak about the goodness of God. You're going to speak about the goodness and how he, Jesus came down, who is God manifested in the flesh, whether you know it or not. Okay? A lot of people don't receive that. Well, I, don't, I know about God, but I, I don't want to hear about Jesus. Jesus is God manifested in the flesh, remember? He, he, he was manifested in the flesh and he dwelt among us. So, you know, you can't have the Father without the Son, and you can't have the Son without the Father. And that's just what it is, okay? The Father is the Holy Ghost, and that Holy Ghost came down in that begotten body in Yeshua the Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. On that part, on the, on behalf of that, I had to get that out because a lot of the Lord wanted me to explain because a lot of people are making everything about money and it's not about money. The Lord knows what you have need of before you even ask. And the Lord then says, God shall supply 
heal every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He knows what you have need of before you even ask. So it's okay to pray and ask him for that, even ask him for things. The Lord knows what he can what he want you to have or don't want you to have. There's some things he's going to protect you from that he ain't going to give you because it's going to destroy you. Right? Yes. I said it. Yes. And you have to choose you to say who you're going to serve. We're living in the last days, whether you know it or not. I said, I heard that before. Well, you're hearing it again. It's out of the love of God that I tell you what I tell you. Okay? And with that being said, this morning we're going to read 2 Corinthians, because that's what he gave me this morning, among other things. But I was in the book of Acts a little bit ago, but 2 Corinthians chapter 11. And I'm going to read uh, from the beginning to verse... Uh, 11, chapter, uh, verse 11. We'll read through verse 11, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Would to God ye would bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear lest by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ, Christ the Messiah, that is. For if he that cometh preacheth another Messiah, another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. For I suppose I was not a whit behind the very chiefest apostles. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been truly made manifest among you in all things. Have I committed an offense in abasing myself that ye might be exalted because I have preached to you the gospel of a higher freely, of God freely? I robbed other churches, taking wages of them to do you service. And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren which came from Macedonia supplied and in all things I have kept myself from being burdensome unto you, and so will I keep myself. As the truth of Christ is in me, no man shall stop me of this boasting in the regions of Achaia. Wherefore, because I love you not, a higher meaning God knoweth. Listen, we are living in the last days. You have to choose ye who you're going to serve. But I tell you what, for those that are saved, that have given their life, truly given your life to Christ, please pray for your loved ones and make sure you do it in love. God is love. He's not here for um, to condemn people. We're not here to condemn people. We're not here to put people in bondage and put ropes and ties over their head. No, tell them the truth. Tell them about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let them know that God is love because that's what he is. If you don't have love for your fellow man, you don't know God. I always tell you the truth because I love you all. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Okay? I say choose the Lord. If you have free will. I always say do not allow your free will to cause you to perish. That's all I say. I love you all with the love of the Lord and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful blessed day. Children of all ages from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.